mga tama. Pinalaan ni Basi Madani? Yes, I definitely heard about her. Especially nung muna akong pag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-ibag-
It is a black and white acrylic first exhibited at the Cultural Center of the Philippines and has outstanded all other Filipino black and white paintings that have attempted to depict the yin and yang. Sa bawat pagtakbo ng oras, pagbabago ng panahon, ilang buwan na taon na ang lumipas, ngunit ang isang istoryang binabalot ng kalungkutan ay nagbigay ng isang alaalang hindi makakalimutan. Siya ay naging isang talentadong poet, tagapagsalin at isang manilika sa larangan ng sining at isang dedikadong guro. Ngunit sa kabila ng mga karangalan at mga natamo sa buhay, lubos sa pagdadalamhati ang naramdaman ng mga nagmamahal kay Maningning nang siya ay nagpakamatay sa pamamagitan ng pagtalon sa ikapitong palapag ng Far Eastern Manila noong ikadalawang putsyam ng Setyembre taong dalawang lipo. Ang binibini ay nagtanggal ng kanyang mga sapatos at tumalo na may yakap na isang imahe sa kanyang dibdib. Siya ay patalikod na nahulog mula sa ikapitong palapag at nagdulot ng pinsala sa kanyang gurugod. Iba't ibang mga istorya ang umusbong patungkol sa dahilan ng kanyang kamatayan. He left me when he could no longer stand the laughter that I gave him, while he begged me not to keep memories alive in poems to hurt myself and make those who read sad. I laughed when he shared his life with me while holding him to make it easier and maybe less painful to live on. Laugh, I told him, but could not get his attention. Laugh, I asked him, but he left in anger and left before he understood the courage that held my laughter. A year after her death, what would have been her 29th birthday? The Maningning Miklat Art Foundation was established by her parents, Mario Miklat and Alma Cruz Miklat, as not just as homage to their beloved daughter, but as an organization that aims to promote the artistic creativity and mental health of young aspiring artists. It has launched multiple events, namely Ginogunita Kitaka, a concert and performance art showcasing 11 poems by Maningning, which also played at the FEU Auditorium in 2018 during the Maningning Art Awards. And on September of 2023, the MMAF returns to FEU with Ningning at Liwanag, a whole day art and poetry event at the University Conference Center. Her story is an encouragement for us to approach others who may be struggling silently with compassion and empathy. Despite her passing, her influence is still felt today through the works of art that have immortalized her and the people who continue to remember and commemorate her life. There is more than just an urban legend here. Maningning Miklat was a person who felt and thought. Moreso, an artist who shared her life through her work and brilliance for us to see.